Hello, welcome to another video. Still in Norfolk, as you can tell by that big sky. Out to do a longer ride this morning. 40, maybe 50 miles. Probably 40, I don't know. I'm on holiday. <laughs> so I'm heading first off to Winterton-on-Sea. When we came here three years ago, found this most fantastic cafe the brilliant location right on the sand dunes so I'm heading there for breakfast so I've just come off my planned route slightly heading down this track towards the beach I'm going to Horsey Gap and I came this way, this way yesterday walking on the beach and I don't know if they're going to be there today but yesterday there were about a hundred seals. What do you call it? A, con con a colony of seals, I do believe they're called. So I'm going to see if there's still any there. Probably won't be able to get close enough with this camera to pick them out particularly well, but we can have a look. And then I might just head along the coastal path. So I'm heading towards Winterton, which is three and a half miles that way, if I can get there along the path. Which I hadn't planned to do. I planned to be all road today, but I'm on holiday. What the heck? Well, I'm just above the beach. There aren't as many as there were yesterday. They were all in one spot yesterday, but there's still quite a lot. So you can see them just down there. I shall zoom in when I'm editing. There's a few more out in the sea. And on the next beach along, just up there, there's probably a few more than there are on this one. But isn't that amazing? So many of them. As you can see, that's sand. I'm slightly regretting coming this way now. It's kind of grass and sand and grass and sand. It saps all your strength. Sand is really hard to ride in, I've decided. Once you get to a certain depth, I don't know, your natural reaction is to tense up, but you probably need to stay loose. But yeah, it's hard work riding through sand and it just saps all your strength out of your legs. But I've got to get just up in the distance there to the top of that ride. I think I've about a mile and a half to go, so too far to go back into the road it's about the same distance as the road so we've got to stick with it well I'm at the end of that now Thank goodness, it was hard work, three and a half miles. So, I've arrived at Winterton to what was my favorite cafe. It was here, it was there. And now it's out there somewhere. You can see they've put some boulders, some big lumps of stuff down there to protect it. There was a storm and it went so that's not so big. It's not very good, is it? So now there's a there's a couple of airstream wagons there. One for food, one for drinks. It's not quite the same though. But it would have been a nice spot to have sat, eat the bacon roll, looking out there. But all of a sudden, the beach is closer than it was. Coastal erosion, you know. There's a lot of it about. So I've left Winterton now and I'm heading in the general direction of Potter Hayam. I'm following some commute tracks. This looks quite interesting. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just on the cycle path on my last little stretch into Potter Hayam. So we're into the proper Norfolk Broads now. That's another one I came to when I was a lad. I remember we rented a, a boat and we couldn't go under that bridge. So we had to go that way, which I think which I think is a fairly common thing in these parts. Lots of boats, other than the very small day boats, are too big to go under that bridge. He's alright though. As hills go, I've just gone up one in Norfolk. It's just a slight rise. Now I'm going down it minus 1.7, 1 1.6, 1 1.4. Oh, I'm almost back on the flat. The commute is sending me off road, off road again. More tracks. Glorious day now, though. I feel a little overdressed. I may have to dispense with my base layer. It was uh, 10 degrees when I sat out, and I think it's about 15 now. Maybe need a little warmer. Well, there's a slight coolness in the wind. So I've dropped down now into Horning. Guess what I found? It's a bit out of place. It's a Mississippi steamer. So we're in the broads proper now. This is at uh, Horning. And here just coming is a Mississippi steamer. I don't quite get that. We're not on the Mississippi. It's playing American music. I don't get it. Why do we do that? So I've turned around now, over halfway. I've got a slight tailwind. So now we're back onto these little lanes, these little quiet lanes. For so many of these in this area, it's just brilliant. You can ride along these for miles and just don't see any traffic. It's great. BMW is still in the field. So I'm almost at the end of the ride now. I've been quite tired the last few miles. I think those, uh, that section of dunes this morning, grass and sand, took it out of me. We're going to end up about 35 miles. So 
So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the bell, like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in a few days time. Maybe one more from Norfolk, who knows? See you soon, bye.